Welcome back, folks, to a Let's Play of Goosebumps Horror Town. This is part three of a part four system, so we're just barely halfway there. We just finished the halfway there, Mark. We're now moving to another hour. Oh boy, can you feel it in the air tonight? I don't, I, I know I don't. So tonight we're going to be talking about, I mean, this video, tonight for me, but in this video it could be any day, time, whatever. But besides the point, we are going to be t continuing off on the quest that we left off of. Uh, this is going to take more of the story, and we're going to take a look at both stories here. Um, I also am going to explain one of the biggest issues that came with this game. I, I've been teasing this for the last two videos now, but I, I swear to you that this is the episode that I'm going to be talking about it. So bear with me. So for that, let's just continue and dive right in. So as we left, uh, we've just gotten the place to mine thing here, right? We got this. So that's great. So all we need to do now is just explore the map. Which is actually right down here. Wrong, wrong, very, wrong map. But what's important is that now I can connect. Like the last uh, update, now just connect all this stuff together. So now he's no longer abnormal. Now everyone has a way to connect. The whole town is now connected to one another. So that's great. Get to see this. Looking pretty good. There you go. Now, 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 nothing is apart from one another. This will work. All right, and something I wanted to show off that I didn't get to show last time. One of the changes they did was, if you look, the mutant update stuff, namely the statue as well as the comic book, actually moved. They're now in the Many Mysteries Club instead of the Mad Laboratory. Before, they were in the Mad Laboratory, but now they got moved down to the Mystery Club thing. I think they did that to make more sense, I think, because I don't know what the whole purpose of having that be there previously, so I guess I can understand where that came from. Yeah, so. That was interesting. Anyways, we're going to continue off with here. going to see what this brings up. Right, I think this is where I'm going to talk about uh, the biggest problem of this game coming up. But first, let's just take a look at this. This is the last of the Slappy missions, so you get the Voodoo Doll, but unfortunately it'll cost 16 hours to get. Actually, it might be coming up in a bit, so bear with me. Oh, hey, I could forgot. Yeah, I went to 50. I forgot. I ended up going to 50. There we go. Okay. Congratulations to me. Celebration's over. Yep, as far as the game's concerned, I have reached max level. I don't think there's going to be any more updates level-wise for now until they get all the levels and stuff unlocked. If this game continues, I can see them adding more to this game, but for now, that's it. And uh, here's all the pirates and one leg being spawned at once. You get to see a good scurvy crew. You also notice that I've moved most of the new items down near the beach area. The plan is as soon as I open up the beach area, most of that stuff is going to get reorganized. So by the end of the video, you get to see a little bit of what I did with the pirate area, which I'm quite pleased with. And um, there's still some room on the beach to, for another update, so maybe that can be there and wait for when the ghost speech episode comes in. Also, you might notice that the room is a little bit more quiet because uh, when I'm recording this, it's a little bit more chilly. Or not chilly, like, you know, but you know, nice, nice and cool at night. So there's no need for a fan. It's not like it's boiling anymore. So thank God for that. Amen. Right. So while we click around and having these monsters, oh, they're all done. Good. All right. So let's just click this, and I should finally get a. Yep. There we go. We've got one of our pirate flags. Which, believe it or not, you're gonna need a whole lot. 
I, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna need a whole lot of pyre flags in order to move on with this update, so keep this in mind. They're gonna be very important moving forward. And I think, I'm not sure, yeah, at this point I've decided to go ahead and do the try a different leg here. And at first you can't really see anything, but I did try to move this, uh, one of the uh, stores that's blocking him away so you can get to see a little bit more in depth with his moving of the feet and stuff so let me do that real quick and be right back there we go much better yeah so as you can see here he switches his leg for a plaque or for a plunger for some reason I'm surprised he switches it for a plunger because that thing can get stuck to the floor. I think it's a plunger. It looks like a plunger. I'm going to go with a plunger. I did put that item back where it was, by the way. And if you're wondering why I moved, part of the reason was uh, I forgot to close the door and I didn't want any outside noises to come in and uh, interrupt. So yeah, as far as uh, right now goes, the only way to get a hook is to melt four ores into a hook unless no wait I believe Billy drops him in a quest line uh, a mi not a quest mission but you know a a uh, certain thing so we're gonna have to wait and see what Billy gives us right so I found out um, the other day that uh, a lot of my a lot of nostalgic coming back for when it comes to anthology horror films. Um, currently, they're kind of doing a "Are You Afraid of the Dark" stuff uh, reboot coming back. I think in the movie and then also show. And I believe this one. Not, I don't think there's anything with Goosebumps, but they did do the movie, so there's that. They're still doing the books. And um, yeah. So, the property still is still there, still going. Right, so I believe, I think it's this point I decided to say, you know what? I'm just going to go with Creep Through the Deep. Right, so now i got this item so we can continue on with the quest. Because I need to put one more barrel down. So, I'm going to put down the barrel and then we're going to continue with the quest line dialogue. So, let's see what happens here. Uh, right there. Oh dear. Can you just imagine? I love the dialogue that it actually sounds like a bunch of pirates would be talking, especially the captain there. As he, as of right now, he's just enjoying dinner time at the pirate shop for some reason. Why, why is he eating at the pirate shop to make him enjoy dinner time? No idea. Uh, I've decided to say screw time. I've decided to spend money on this again, and decided to go here. So I need to wait 12 more hours before we could continue on with uh, Billy's quest. And yeah, I can't continue on with Creep from the Deep because he's. Because the pirate is enjoying din din time. And I've decided not to skip this for now. But I did want to show off Selma riding her skateboard because she was the last person I mentioned before that she rides a skateboard. And she's a bad role model. She doesn't wear she's too cool to wear. Her and 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 Will, who's standing on top of that light, by the way. Great role models. Right, here comes one I wanted to talk about. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. If you notice the times when it comes to some of these items, they've gotten worse for some of these items. One of the best ones was this. Are you kidding me? Money for hours for two things. You gotta be gift. That was my sad attempt as a Crosby voice now. But yeah, as you can see, the times changed and a lot of people are not happy because some of these items were easily to attain. Now they're not. Now it's like if an item is rare, 
it costs more time, which if it comes to certain characters, like uh, like rare characters, it becomes worse. I'll talk more about that right after the dialogue coming up here. Billy, this will interest you. A sunken pirate ship called the Scarlet Skull vanished back in the 1780s. It apparently sank right in this bay, never to be found again. Quite the mystery, don't you agree? Uh, yeah, that drill is uh, very interesting there, Doc. Uh... Whoa, a pirate ship? Did it have treasure? Pieces of eight and such? It was loaded with treasure, Billy. Filled with gold and jewels. That's nice. Ride along board, which I already did, drink some tea, and place old cannons. So this is the continuation from Creep from the Deep. Now something I am going to bring up. Like I said, the times, I think the reason why they changed the timing was to make it work with the elements of um, the value of the item. So if an item is more valuable, the more time it takes to get but I think maybe they should change the algorithm so that if it's a premium character, have it so it's more rewarding. I can understand. Yeah, because the pirate just needs to sip tea like a uncivil savage on top of his houseboat thing. Very, very nice there. Long been, but yeah, like I've what like I like I was saying before, that guy interrupted my conversation with his pompousness. Had the characters like a normal freemium character like Billy, if you were to drop an item that was rare for twenty four hours, then well yeah whatever. But if it's a character that you bought for premium, and then you give them the twenty four hour treatment, that's kind of that's almost like discouraging people from actually buying said character. So maybe they can tweak it a bit to make it seem more fair for people to grab stuff. I think another reason why they did this change was to prevent, uh, to make, like, the level up the, not the level up, but the kind of hinder when it comes to, uh, higher tier characters to be able to have everyone be on equals field my guess is so it's it's still gonna be wonky to play around with uh something i will say though like a good example of the changes is that previously before the professor shock was able to give you that monster database for four hours of a task now that task has turned into 12 hours of him regressioning back and this thing by the way this uh scarlet skull ship scene pretty big ship pretty big squarespace i must say not sponsored by squarespace by the way all right we're gonna have him drink his tea and we're gonna continue on with the story now with this land we're I basically said screw it okay uncle frederick tell me why we really came to deep beach it wasn't for sunshine i lived here when i was younger i studied deep beach as i was becoming ein wissenschaftler a scientist. Yeah, I'm not always gonna butcher that. I guess I should call you Dr. Deep then. You study deep thoughts at Deep Beach. <laughs> oh, aren't this is how they're gonna do the Dr. Deep thing. That's so ah, scythe that Billy. You can call me whatever you want. I'll still be your uncle just the same. I love that. That's the explanation with Dr. Deep. It's really Dr. Frederick. I love that. That's just so fantastic. Ooh hoo hoo. Ugh. There's an old cannon here. It's funny. I don't remember seeing it before. I wonder if I can climb on it. Bad idea, Billy. Ah! I fell! Ow! I hurt. Ugh. I'm not sure if I can walk. I guess I can use this old piece of driftwood as a crutch so I can walk home. Jeez, I wonder where this is going to lead into. Huh. So... Dr. Deep, what sort of secrets can be found at Deep Beach? Secrets? Well, there used to be a rumor that mermaids could be found here. A 
sure it's nonsense, though. All right, give me a second. Mermaids? Sweet. Come on, Selma. Let's go catch us a live one. Yes, let's talk about deep uh, troubles first thing. So he's going to go fishing, plant some palm trees, obtain hooks. So, Deep Beach was about mermaids. More specifically, these mermaids. Yes, so this is, came from the graphic novel I talked about in the previous thing before. It's weird because these mermaids look basically like this in the in in the story as they talk and and the only words they actually say were like <coughs> like like that. But you know, by the way, guess where he's guess where he decided to take <laughs> He's going in the swamps. Oh, yes. Oh, the old swimming pond there. He's gonna... Sitting on top of the, the weird pool to make it look weird. And, um... The good old witch doctor has decided to, um, also... You know, he's doing that while he's just playing in the mud. That's, that's beautiful. I gotta love that. Gotta love this little area here. So yeah, that's that's really weird to see this this being here, but whatever. I'm gonna try to find a good spot to put this. It it's gonna be it's gonna be somewhere good, so I hold on, I think I know where it's gonna be right here, right? Yeah, it's gonna be right here, so that's good enough. That's good enough for now, whatever. Oh, where is this going? I knew it. So you're telling me that he ended up walking around with the captain's leg as some sort of crutch. So he's going to draw a map, obtain anchors, obtain crab hook. Now is he drawing a map to try to figure out where he dropped his leg? Is like, are you where me leg be? Maybe over here? No, I hadn't done that. Maybe it's where you drink your tea, eh? You dear captain? So yeah, for some reason in this version of the game, the captain, they don't see him as threatening at all. Despite in the books made him really creepy, but okay, whatever. Yeah, so he's gonna draw, he's gonna draw a nice piece, a nice, uh, a nice picture of his house. Well, yeah, let's just, let's assume he's drawing his house. He's drawing a skeleton. She's drawing he mum. Oh. I don't know what to say dialogue wise. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. I I do appreciate though that this channel is slowly growing because of this game, which is a surprise because I never thought myself actually doing something like this. Um Right, so we need some palm trees and we need to get a hook. So I think they're talking about these palm trees and not the other palm trees. I don't know what's special about this palm tree, but okay, there's like thousands, there's like f f five, six other palm trees over there, but no, they don't count, unfortunately. Not, they don't want those palm trees, they want the other palm trees. That is so stupid. They should just change the name slightly so that's not all the same thing. Oh yeah, also I got this open now, so I might as well just... There we go, much better. Now it's somewhat connected. Oh, and by the way, you can see I moved the uh, cake. That's not its, that's not its permanent home, but it's somewhat there. And uh, we're gonna get more dialogue when it comes to the, not the captain per se, but we gotta get to introduce a new character that we have yet seen. Like, we've seen him before, but we have not actually seen him. I talked a little bit about this whole modern day pirate thing, which I assume this is what this is, but for some reason he's related to Captain Bones over here. Oh yeah, and I moved it finally so we get to see this. I don't know why I moved the red thing over there for now, but whatever. Ah, okay. He's gonna just fish for frogs. Why is he fishing a mermaid in that danky swamp? Makes no sense. 
Whatever. We're gonna continue on with this. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I didn't find a single mermaid. <sighs> Maybe next time. Hey, who's the doc talking to? This is easy money, doctor. All you have to do is find and trap the mermaid that's been sighted. I'm afraid I'm on vacation right now. All work will have to wait until I take the children back home. Don't you be so quick to say no, Doctor. I'm offering the principal sum of one million dollars for the mermaid. One million dollars, huh? I couldn't help myself to add that little Doctor Evil reference there. Right, let's see if we can find where Billy is so we can, uh... Continue on with this quest. Give me a sec, I need to find something here. Uncle Deep, let's look for the mermaid so we can get that million bucks. Ah, don't trouble yourself, Billy. You see, my creation's already out searching for the creature. Your creations? You mean your robots? But, uh, what about making this an adventure? Please. His robots are cool. This way we can take no risks. You say take no risk. Like, what robots? Obtain experimental power and use a spy glass. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know Dr. Fredericks had robots. I mean, I knew. Uh, what you call shock has robots but as far as i'm concerned F spidey only had like inventions and failed experiments in the camera how how did he know okay i guess he he has robots now i want to see these robots in particular oh and by the way use a spyglass you cannot do this unless you open deep beach because where he's looking at and i think i show this off maybe yeah so he's looking at that squid right down there so you need to have this be available in order for him to activate it so he's actually looking at that squid monster i guess i don't know what the other squid monsters are going to do over there but they're just there good to know daddy O. roger dodger oh he's done drawing his picture that's nice all right let's collect some stuff it's the name of the game of this game, just collect stuff. You know, I will say about this game, it's nice that you can actually get a character to do something and they'll actually drop the items that it says it's going to drop as a reward. Unlike another game, which just like, oh, you may be getting a chance, but it's like super rare to drop. And I'm just like, well, why am I doing it for every four hours for maybe a chance? You might as well just give me a guarantee. Of eight hours or something you know also I love it when the game kind of does this weird fizzy effect I think it has something to do with the actual phone recording it I mean it's limitation to how much it can record it doesn't come out that terrible but you know technology is not that advanced you have to go 1080p 6 uh, 4k at uh, 60 frames per second for a, a game made for a mobile device and now he's home so that's that's the animation there look at Billy's looking through well that's a nice telegraph telescope to get myself a spyglass oh here's the next weekly event a fire truck what happened to the uh, the uh, emergency thing well screw that one <laughs> You don't need it, you get a fire truck instead. So you need that stuff for items. I didn't go after it because it was a fire truck, but I am gonna show you. If you went with it, you can get it for those items. And if you were to buy it outright, it would cost, let's find out. Uh, if I can find it, that is, if I keep on going like this. Oh, that way I passed it 40 bucks so 40 bucks or grind those items to get it for less than 40 bucks and this is what the item looks like that looks nice whatever 
You need all that. I didn't get it, I think, because of the compass. And the compass is like one of the rarest items for me to ever get drops from. So I just said, screw it. I'm not giving it that. Everything else is fine to get, but that 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 spyglass, no. That compass, no. I, it's not going to get the one. Screw it. Even though I was tempted to say, hmm, maybe I can get it from the, the order shop, but I'm like, nah. Every 12 hours. Or every day. 50 stuff for doing an order. That's it. That's the only ways you can get it. There's no character that can give you those items as of yet. Which sucks. Go to get the, uh, the spy tool there. Or you can have a character like, say, um, Will. Which I have, which is a premium character. He'll actually give you that item for a quest he does. I'm not sure how long it takes him to do, though. I'm trying to figure out what what was the request exactly to get him to do that. So let's find out. Yeah, at first I thought it was Courtney King, but it wasn't. It was uh, Will. If I can find out where Will is. Yeah, I've decided to go with that route. Just clicking through. You know, they should probably do what they did with, like, Wonder Park and have it so that you can actually click on the book and be able to take it to a list of characters. That way you can find out the one you want. So if they're playing a game of Where's Waldo. It's not even listed under, like, by... There he is, Will Blake. He does it for... Five. It's a riding skateboard. Okay, cool. So that's how you get that stuff. And for some reason, Crosby is hiding behind the Shock's house. Okay. So we're done with that, and we're gonna be done with this, which will give us the 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 glass. So here's the next part of dialogue coming up right now. <laughs> Darn it! I don't see anything moving on the water. But this mermaid thing is just a hoax. I guess I'll take a quick swim. Wait, what's that shadow in the water? Could it be a mermaid? This is basically the same thing that happens in Deep Trouble. Oh, look, there's where the night. That's where the body squeezers went. They just got themselves stuck into the water, they got forced into the ocean. It makes sense. Ah! No! It's a m monster! Those, uh, cri those, those water creatures, those water monster aliens. I barely made it to the shore before it got me. Hey, there's another shadow chasing it. It's a mermaid! The mermaid is chasing away the monster! Unbelievable! Apparently mermaids hate, uh... I better go tell everyone. The mermaid saved my life! But, I wonder if anyone would ever believe me. I was about to say mermaids must hate the uh, squeezers. Don't know why. Tell everyone about the mermaid, place a big anchor, which has already been done, and get some scraps. Oh, nice. He gets flowers for just telling Selma in her van. There was a weird, there is a weird, uh, something I found out, which is like in, and I might do this for a playthrough around Halloween, but there is actually an AI who made a attempted Goosebump book called Welcome to Sand Hands, and by God, that, that, that book is just, ooh, I'm, I'm gonna save it in case I do it, but, oh man, <laughs> oh man, I also moved the, uh, to see... Deep, tr not deep, not the deep, uh, Jungle of Doom statue over here because I think it makes sense to have something sea related in the beach. But, alright, let's just continue on with the quest here. Selma, Dr. Deep, you won't believe this. I found the mermaid. Yeah, did she now? Well, that will make things easier for everyone. Oh, good. What happened now? Hey. You're that guy from before. Are you here to give me the reward? But where's the doctor? Yes, the name is Guy now. <laughs> Billy, run for your life. This pirate freak trapped us here. Run away. Oh, good. 
There, but it's, sir, there's like a Scooby-Doo thing. Just trap the kids. Listen, kid. I'm sure you want to save your family. Why don't you just show me where the mermaid is? I sh I shouldn't. I mean, she saved my life. But I need to free my family. Okay, follow me. I can show you. Really, no. Really, no. You can't trust this pirate guy. He's no good. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what Billy's up to. I won't say anything just yet. Be trapped. Uh, be trapped and search for the mermaid. <laughs> Guess where? They're going to be trapped in a barrel, by the way. Why? No idea, but that's where they're going. They're going to get a scuba gear for us. And he needs another barrel for some reason. So I'm going to give it another one because it's just 100 coins, so why not? Yeah, in the original story for uh, Deep Trouble, Dr. Deep got a uh, offer from the zoo to be like, Hey, we're going to, we want you to catch this mermaid for us to be in the zoo. We'll give you like this much money, right? And um, they're like, okay, whatever. And then some guy he had with him, Trader, passed him off. And there was like this modern day terrorist pirate thing. And they're like, we're going to give you a million dollars for this. But oh, well, screw it. But then the mermaid family, I guess, ended up tipping over the ship. And it, it just, it, it was just weird. It just ended up like, oh, oh well, <laughs> guess we didn't get it. But <laughs> who cares, right? And just great. It feels kind of weird though, and it's, it's like weird because the kid's like, "Oh, you're hungry, mermaid. Let me give you this this chocolate," and then it just melts in there. And I'm just like, "You're a dumb dumb." Of course, the mermaid really wanted the squid. Oh, that's why it was chasing the monster because she was hungry. She wanted the monster meat, the monster monster alien meat. I don't blame her. I'm just hoping she got them. Uh, the um, shell crackers, you know those ones, uh, the nice the ones, alright, well, whatever, alright, so we got all this stuff going, I think this video is long enough, that was interesting, we'll wrap it up here, and uh, yeah, so that's about it for this part, the next part will be the final one where I wrap up everything story wise, we're gonna find out what Billy's plan is to get his problem solved, and will the captain ever find his leg? All this and more in the next part. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. I'd like to hear it. And uh, that's about it for me. So until then, folks, have a hearty dar night. A failed pirate ending. I'm just going to end it now.